Assalamu alaikum, Adam and Bilal. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now, can I ask you my next question? Yes. What's the question? My cousin said that Muslims worship the moon. No, that is definitely not true. There is a place in the Quran where Allah tells us the story about the prophet Abraham. In that story, he was searching for the right one to worship. He saw the stars and rejected the worship of them. He saw the moon and rejected the worship of it. He saw the sun and rejected the worship of it. And finally said that he will only worship Allah, the creator of them. Yes, that makes it clear that Allah is not the moon, but he is the creator of the moon. That's right. And there is another place in the Quran that also makes it very clear that Allah is not the moon. Allah says in the Quran, Among the signs are the day and the night, the sun and the moon. Do not prostrate to the sun or the moon, but prostrate to Allah who created them all, if you truly worship him alone. That was the 41st chapter in the 37th verse of the Quran. Whoa! That makes it perfectly clear that we do not worship the moon. Yes, from this verse of the Quran, we understand that we should not pray to the moon because prostrating is a part of our prayer and that Allah is the one who created the moon. So Allah is not the moon. The moon is a thing created by Allah. Well, you answered that question so quickly and so easily. That's why we should study Islam, so that we understand it properly and can defend it as well. This keeps our faith in Islam strong and constantly growing. What do we say to the people that say Muslims worship the Kaaba or the black stone in the Kaaba? We explain to them that the places of worship are called masjids because they are the places that we prostrate while praying to Allah. And the very first place of worship is named the Kaaba and was built in the holy place in Mecca. It still stands now in Saudi Arabia. The Kaaba was the place of worship present during the time of the prophet Abraham. Well, it's that old? Yes, the foundation of the house of worship was raised by the prophet Abraham and his son Ishmael. It is under the Beitul Ma'amur in the heavens where 70,000 different angels go around it and worship Allah every day. Why do the Muslims face it in prayer? Well, obviously, all of the Muslims cannot fit inside of, inside of the Kaaba because there are approximately 2 billion Muslims worldwide. So we all unite in one direction towards it while praying to Allah. What about the black stone? The black stone is a stone that fell to earth and became black. It was sent down to earth by Allah and used as a cornerstone in the building of the Kaaba. It has religious and spiritual significance. We don't worship it, but we recognize its history and special significance. Umar, the companion of the Prophet Muhammad and the second ruler of Islam after the passing of the Prophet وسلم, said, I know that you are only a stone. Were it not that I saw the Messenger of Allah kiss you, I would not have kissed you. That makes it perfectly clear that we should not worship the black stone and that the Prophet Muhammad never told us to worship it. That's right. I can't think of any more questions. I think I'm ready to go talk to my cousin to answer his questions and invite him to Islam. That's great. I have a question. What is it? What do we say to people that say Muslims worship the devil? Well, if they read the Quran, they would see that Allah condemns the devil in the Quran, tells us to seek refuge with Allah from the devil, the shaitan, and that the shaitan, the evil one, the devil, will be in the hellfire. The story is told about the jealousy 
that the devil has towards man and how he whispers and tries to get people to become his companions in the fire. It is not possible to say that we worship the devil when we clearly pray to Allah and seek his protection from the harms of the devil and his whispering. Yes, even I can easily understand from reading the Quran that Allah is not the devil, and I would never have become a Muslim if the Muslims worshipped the devil. In fact, I read in the Quran where Allah tells us not even to follow in the footsteps of the devil. So we are told not to listen to his whispers and not to do what he does. That's right, Adam. I think you are really, really ready to talk to your cousin now. I only have one more question. What is it? Why do some people say that Muslims worship Muhammad? Well... It's probably because they were told that. But if they read the Quran or studied Islam, they would know that the Prophet Muhammad is a prophet and a messenger of Allah. He is not Allah, and we don't worship him. That's right. Bilal, what is the meaning of worship? I guess it means to pray. Actually, worship is the name given to all of the things that you do to seek the ultimate help from that source, showing the greatest love, the greatest obedience, and for which you are intending to please by those acts. Is this why we shouldn't call ourselves Mohammedans? Yes, our way of life is called Islam. This means to be in a state of peace due to your submission and obedience to Allah. Even if someone helps us, we know its original source is Allah who allowed or caused them to help us. We may thank them, but we praise Allah for that help. We ask Allah for his help, and we love Allah the most. We do everything with the intent to please Allah, and we obey Allah. We should never obey anything or anyone if it will cause us to disobey Allah, because our ultimate obedience is to Allah. This is worship. We do not pray to our Prophet Muhammad nor direct any form of worship to him. I understand very clearly. Great. How about you, Bilal? Yeah, I understand. But is there anything that the companions of the prophet said to make this clear too? Yes. At the time of the death of the prophet Muhammad, Abu Bakr made a famous statement that shows and proves that we as Muslims do not worship our beloved Prophet Muhammad What did he say? He said, For those who worship Muhammad know that Muhammad has died, but those who worship Allah know that Allah is alive and never dies. Well, that makes it very clear who we worship. Yes, that makes it clear. Allah also said in Quran, Muhammad is no more than a messenger, and indeed, many messengers have passed away before him. If he dies or is killed, will you then turn back on your heels? And he who turns back on his heels, not the least harm will he do to Allah, and Allah will reward the grateful. This is the verse that Abu Bakr recited to the Muslims at that time. Surely Allah speaks the truth. It couldn't be any clearer than this, that the Muslims do not and should not worship the Prophet Muhammad. I thought of one last question, but I'll ask you tomorrow, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.